hello everyone in this video i'll show you about two types of columns in design of compression members and the first one is a laced column and second one is batten column uh, so to achieve the maximum value in the minimum radius of gyration uh, without increasing the area we provide uh, so many members uh, most commonly uh, the laced column and i mean laced members and batten members in lateral systems so this one is the these two are lacing members these two are uh, single lacing and these two are double lacing this inclined portion is the called laced members or lacing flats these are the main members okay if suppose we apply load in this direction this member will buckle like this the main purpose of the lacing is to avoid this buckling we use these lacing flat lacing flats have you seen these dots these are connected by using bolting or welding or riveting to avoid this buckling we can use these lacing flats without i mean uh, these lacing flats will not carry the load i mean it will not transfer the load okay like that uh, these two also double lacing uh, one can use instead of lacing one can use the batten members these are the batten plates have you seen this these two are batten plates okay and connected by using bolting to keep the members in required distance we can use these batten plates like that we can design these lacings and battens in uh, usually we can see these type of members in railway stations because most of the railway stations are in steel structures okay there we can see so in is 800 2007 the code is specifying some design procedure for design of uh, lacings and battens in the next video i will show you the design and lacing members uh, specifications and the design procedures thank you so much thanks for watching